This is a work of fiction. Names, characters, business, events and incidents are the products of the author's imagination. Any resemblance to actual persons, living or dead, or actual events is purely coincidental. It was a regular day in the life of BTS members. The members just got done with a charity concert and were called in to discuss about their upcoming event. It was then they received the news about the disaster that had struck at their dorm room. It had infested with rats. The members had complained about their clothes being damaged, the food being nibbled and thus thought it was a good idea to call the pest control. It was therefore suggested to move the members in the new dorm area for a week and get the place renovated while also giving it a pest control treatment. All and again a new adventure for the BTS members awaited. The packers and mover helped with the moving. Overall the members were excited for the change in the scenery, but they had no idea what adventure waited for them. The new dorm room was not far away from the city. It had to be that way because the members were not on a vacation. It was situated in a secluded area due to privacy concerns. But the area was surrounded with beautiful bamboo plantation. There was a small stream with crisp clear water. The sound of the water flowing was enough to calm down the members from their day of exhaustion. Though Jungkook and Taehyung missed their convenience stores, it was a retreat for Sugar, Namjoon and Jin. J-Hope had already heard about the place from one of the staff members and thought it would be cool to start a new hobby of reading a book. Jimin couldn't wait to sit by the window, pout his lips and dream away. The dorm property itself was very beautiful, very dark academia style. It was an old property which was renovated and given modern touches but still had the essence of the past. As soon as you enter there is a big common room. On the left a red corner lined with books and the right there was a dining area. The staircase for the first slow led from the common room to first floor where there were four room adjacent to each other. And of a similar design followed the second floor too. There was also a beautiful rooftop terrace. Each room was simple and designed like a boarding school dormitory style. The members were excited to have individual rooms for themselves. Hyungs took over the top floor and Macney accepted the first floor. Manager Sejin was also present with the members this time and stayed on the first floor along with the Macney line. The whole place was heated traditionally. The members were then introduced to the lady in charge of cooking, cleaning and looking after. The needs of the members Miss Sky and her son Macney was in charge of the gardening and cutting wood to keep the place warm. They lived in a small cottage by themselves. The members shifted on a Sunday morning but that didn't spare them from practice sessions. And they had to leave the place soon after they were introduced to the dorm staff. The day passed by as usual and in no time it was night. The members came to the dorm tired and exhausted. As soon as they opened the door they were welcomed with yummy delicious smell of warm stew and the place warm as a hug. Everyone freshened up quickly and headed to have the dinner. It was a delicious chicken cream stew. Served with warm bread with a side of butter and was followed by a slice of lemon meringue pie. Everyone enjoyed every bit of the food served. Miss Sky definitely knew what she was doing. It was soon time to head to bed. The members went to their respective bedrooms. In no time the members knocked out. It was a quiet night. Quieter than usual because it was away from hustle and bustle of the city. It was around 2.15am when manager Sejin was jolted away while he was deep asleep. He woke up sat on the edge of his bed. It was then he could smell something burning thus he went near the window and looked out but there was no one there. He, he didn't wanted the members to be up to any mischief so he texted in the group chat. If any one of you all are awake and up to any mischief please stop and go to sleep. I am just reading a book. It wasn't me I haven't left the room either. Are y'all getting burning smell? No Hyun. I can't smell anything burning. I can smell my cookie candle. Please put it off Taehyung it's a fire hazard and go to sleep it's too late y'all. J hope you can read the book later. Manager Hyung then kept his phone and poured himself some water in the glass. While having the water he stared at the crack between the door. He could see the corridor light peeking through. Suddenly it was blocked by something. It made manager Sejin startle. Wondering who or what it was for a minute. Out of frustration he got up from the bed opened the door only to be welcomed by a cold empty hallway and pin drop silence. The feeling made him uneasy. He went back in the room closed the door and went back to sleep.
Next morning the members woke up and headed to have the breakfast Miss Sky had prepared hearty congee meal. The room was filled with the smell of coffee. Manager Sejin couldn't brush off the experience he had last night and asked Miss Sky about it. Miss Sky why the place wasn't heated last night. Confused Miss Sky looked at her son and asked him if he hadn't put enough wood to last whole night. He replied that he had done his job properly and had no idea how it is possible. To which manager Sejin corrected himself that only their rooms were warmed up but the corridors were super chilly. To which the Mac replies oh so the original construction did let the whole place warm up but some of the vents are now sealed after the reconstruction. Therefore places like corridors, kitchen area are mostly cold at night. Though not fully satisfied manager Sejin didn't wanted to make a fuss out of it. It was soon time for them to leave for the day. The company car were already waiting outside to pick up the members. As usual the members had a busy day and returned to the dorm tired to yet another delicious meal. It was a day off the next day. Therefore members decided sit and Kyle on the terrace while gazing the beautiful sky above. All the members were excited by the fact that they could sleep in. And went back to their rooms. Anyone <coughs> interested in coming for a hike early morning? Nope. Good night. Now I am sleeping in too. I have a book to finish. I am willing to come with you. Yes me too. I wanted to go in the bamboo forest anyways. T Hyung are you coming? I can't tell anything now. If I wake up I'll come or I won't. Not really certain. I will wake you up once. If you don't wake up I'll leave you there. <coughs> the next day early morning Namjoon woke up Jin and Jungkook. Jin tried to wake up T Hyung but to no success. Miss Sky was already in the kitchen and had packed them a small picnic basket with sandwiches, juice, coffee and fruits. Mac asked if they wanted him to show around the place. But Jungkook refused as they wanted to explore by themselves. Jin, Namjoon and Jungkook then left on their adventure. To be safe they wanted to follow the beaten path as they were exploring by themselves. On their way they saw different kind of bugs and insects. It is almost time for spring. I guess. Said Namjoon pointing out to a bee. The weather was still a little cold but not too cold either it was pleasant. They were surrounded by tall trees which almost blocked any sunlight which existed. The whole atmosphere was musty, cold and pleasant at the same time. After 30-40 minutes of hike the members finally reached on top of the hill. They could see the forest even better. Jin set up the picnic table. They gobbled down on their snack and sat in silence enjoying the peace and quietness of the atmosphere. After spending an hour or so, they were on their way back to the dorm. Now Jungkook was feeling more adventurous than before and thus he thought it would be a good idea to go off the beaten path this time. I don't think this is a good idea said an annoyed Jin. I think we should be fine since we are moving down the hill. And the foot of the hill is a main road so even if we get lost we will reach more or less near our dorm. Explained Namjoon. Though Jin was initially skeptical, he thought to just go with the flow. Namjoon's explanation helped a little too. It is always easier to go down the hill and at times it's more fun too. In no time they could see the backyard of their dormitory and the smoke coming from the chimney of the fireplace. Jin let a sign of relief. They had almost reached. It was then that they came across something which looked like a cemetery. This freaked out Jin to an extent he refused to even enter it. Namjoon was fascinated and moved from one tomb to another. They were all children. Some 10 some 7 and some even as young as 3 and 5 years old said Namjoon analyzing the engraving on the gravestones. I think we should leave from here. Let's not disturb the place more said Jungkook walking towards the dorm. Jin followed Jungkook. Leaving Namjoon. On their way they suddenly met Mac who seemed like was on his way to the cemetery itself. Are they y'all are? Ah. How did y'all come this way? And where is Namjoon asked Mac. While looking for Namjoon. He is sitting by the cemetery answered Jin. Ah is he? I was going there to clean it said Mac. You'll go. I'll get Namjoon along with me on my way back assured Mac. Namjoon was so mesmerized by the beauty of the gravestones. He felt a sense of history attached to this place. You seem fascinated by the gravestones. They are beautiful aren't they? Said a voice. Yes they are indeed replied Namjoon turning back to see Mac with a broom. Bucket of water and rag. Oh so you come here every day to clean place asked Namjoon. Not every day but at least to a week replied Mac. I'll help you today too. 
Tell me what can I do asked Namjoon walking towards Mac. Yes please. You can just start with dusting the gravestones. Thank you so much Namjoon said Mac. But I'll help you only on one condition said Namjoon. And what is that asked Mac. You'll have to tell me what is this cemetery all about said Namjoon. Yes sure Mac said agreeing to Namjoon's request. Few decades ago this dormitory was a shelter home for children with single mothers. Back then it was a taboo to be a single mother in Korea. It is still now but back then it was even worse. The mothers wouldn't be given no jobs. So it came difficult for such mothers to survive in this society. So this shelter him would allow single mothers to deliver their baby and. The caretakers would take care of the children for a very minimal fees. While the mothers could visit whenever they wanted to. Most mother did some never came back. But the caretakers had many secret sponsors and were able to care for these children. One fateful day one of the father of the children came to look for his child. The mother had already informed about the father's aggressive nature. The caretakers refused to give out any information. In anger one night the father set the shelter on fire. All the children and the caretakers died. In the aftermath the caretakers family took away loved ones body to their hometowns. These children had seen nothing apart from this shelter and therefore the decision was made to build a cemetery and bury them here. Many years later one of the sponsors bought the place from an anonymous seller and built the dormitory. My mother is a single mother too and I have seen her struggling for long. We are happy and content here in our own world. So that's the story. It's very commendable how you and Miss Sky came out of the situation. Said Nam June. And guess we are done cleaning the place said Mac looking around. Seems like it. Let's go. Asked Nam June. Both Mac and Nam June then walked back to the dormitory. When they reached back it was almost lunchtime and as usually they had a fist in front of them. The members had lunch and were called at the company for a meeting. On their way to the company Nam June told the story about the shelter to the other members. They were fascinated and creeped out at the same time. For the meeting they come to know that their dorm is pest free and they will be moved in tomorrow. So basically they will spend the last night at the dorm. On the way back they carry some gifts for Miss Sky and Mac for their kind hospitality. They broke the news to Miss Sky that this is their last night here. Miss Sky was visibly sad but this is part of her job. Miss Sky told them to keep their laundry outside their doors as they can leave the place fresh set of clothes. As she was aware that the members will have to wash the clothes by themselves at the dorm. The members then went to the their respective rooms. Kept out their laundry in the laundry basket and went to sleep. Jimin was feeling a little restless and couldn't sleep. So he went to the window and opened it. Fresh breeze hit his face. He shivered a bit but it felt nice. Suddenly he saw Miss Sky walking in driveway holding a bag in her hand and wearing a black dress. She wasn't wearing a coat or anything. This made Jimin a little concerned and he tried to call out to Miss Sky. But he did not respond. Jimin texts in the group chat to see if anyone is awake. Hey anyone is awake? Hello I'm here. Me too. What happened Jimin? I saw Miss Sky walking in the driveway she wasn't wearing any warm clothes and had a bag in her hand. She was doing laundry tonight maybe she finished late. It's 4am it's too late for her to be doing laundry. Not possible as I heard her in the corridor when she picked up the laundry around 11.30 at most she could take maybe max 2am. 4am is too late. Maybe she was doing something else who knows. Stop being paranoid Jimin or go to sleep. Should be go down to check Jimin? Yes please. I'm coming too. When they went down to check they saw their clothes being separated. Ironed and folded to perfection. Namjoon touched the clothes to check if they were hot or cold. And they were cold. The clothes are cold, means this work was done long ago. If it was done recently the clothes would have been slightly warm said Namjoon. Let's go to sleep Jimin I is seeing thing. Do you want to sleep in my room tonight? Jungkook asked Jimin. You I guess I won't be able to sleep alone anyways now, said Jimin. Namjoon went to his room and closed the door. Jimin went to his room to get a pillow and booked in the Jungkook's room. Next morning when the members awoke up they saw the packers and mover truck outside their window. Moreover there were some police official as well. Namjoon and Sugar went down to see the commotion. Miss Sky was nowhere in sight. Rest of the members followed. Namjoon saw Mac talking to the officer. You give a call when if you need something son. Take care said the officer to Mac as he left. 
Mac turned to Namjoon and just broke down. Namjoon confused did nothing but just hug him. Other members were just as confused as them. Sugar then turned to one of the staff members and asked as to what's happening. Miss Sky passed away in her sleep last night at 3.35am. The police came to do basic inquiry but there is no foul play found replied the staff. The members were in absolutely in shock. No words came out from their mouth. They stood in silence. While Jimin and Jungkook couldn't stop quivering. As they saw Miss Sky as 4 in the morning how is it possible for her to die at 3.30am. They gave their condolences to Mac and went back to their room to get their things. On the way back none of the members spoke to each other. Days went by and suddenly one day Jimin saw Mac at the company. Surprised Jimin went and gave him a tight hug. Hey what are you doing here? I mean it's nice to see you here said Jimin hugging Mac. I got a job here in the company. I guess we will see each other more often replied Mac. OMG that's awesome. Actually I had to tell you something said Jimin. What is it asked Mac. Actually I saw Miss Sky, your mother the night after she passed away at 4am in the dormitory's driveway. I was wondering if we got the timing of death wrong or what it is. Mac looked at Jim in puzzle. I have absolutely no idea. Because mom came home at 2am after doing the laundry. It's not possible for her to be at the dormitory at 4am replied Mac. Unless, you'll saw her on her way to afterlife. My mother was one of the young caretaker of the original shelter home. She was luckily in her hometown the night the fire incident happened. She was very fond of those children and also you guys. Maybe that's why you all saw her, replied Mac. I don't know whether to be scared or to feel happy about this, said Jimin. Sometimes creepy experiences can be sweet too. That's all I will say, said Mac as he got up to leave. I'll see you around I guess, asked Jimin. Sure you will, replied Mac. Hey guys this is Odengsu. I hope you'll like this video, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. You all can watch more BTS related horror story in the playlist. I hope to come back soon with another video. Please take care of yourself. Bye.